What's up guys, it's Bada. Welcome to another video and today I am gonna show you how I stream with StreamChamp on YouTube on iOS. So I'm gonna explain you how to do the global setup, how to stream on YouTube, the video setup and how to make overlays and put them on your stream and the scene system. So let's start off by going to the App Store, go to search and search stream champ and boom you have it omelette arcade is pretty good but stream champ is way better so you're gonna open it didn't take long to download ask app to not track and first of all you will need a twitch account even if you are not going to stream on twitch sign on twitch so i am going to log in with my account so i'm gonna put authorize and then boom, you are on this screen. So first up, what you are going to do is change the audio to probably around 20% and your microphone to around 150. So that's the settings I like to use, but you can do whatever you want, you know. So if you want to stream on Twitch, you're gonna go on the three dots, go to ingests, Add, and you can call it whatever you want YouTube and the first thing you're gonna enter so you will need to go to studio.youtube.com so once you're on YouTube studio you're going to tap this button and you are going to be in the stream section the first thing you are going to copy is this thing called stream url and you're gonna copy it put the link and the server key this is actually the so the stream key is right here uh, you are going to enter it this is blurred because i don't want you guys to stream on my channel and then click on add so once that is on you can now stream on youtube so let's go back to the three dots uh, I am now going to explain the, the video setup. So if you have a very good Wi-Fi, you can choose 1080p or if you have a lower end Wi-Fi, you should use 720p. And I don't really uh, recommend using 1440p. And the bitrate, um, so if you do a 1080p stream, you should put the KB per second at 6000. And the frame rate oh, it should be at 16 it's way more smooth and for this one cooling performance boost um if you have a low-end device go back here and if you have a high-end device you should put it like right here not at six okay it's you know, otherwise your your ipad is going to be like very hot so adaptive bitrate i like it to turn it off and also speed over quality because quality when it's better uh, overlay refresh rate turn, turn that up to 20 fps and now the audio bitrate you can keep it at 128 kilobytes per seconds i'm probably going to talk about the remote control as well uh, a bit later in the video so now it's done this part of the settings section now click on this button right here just the right of how to use button so now what i suggest you to do if you're on ipad go to mode and use advanced and now that you have advanced mode go to video and you're gonna remove the original aspect ratio and click on stretch and now there isn't going to be any black bars on the right and on the left of your stream and so now that uh, this is done we are going to move on to the alert boxes so to make your own overlays you are going to go to streamelements.com and choose 
on whatever platform you want to stream with in my case it's youtube so click on youtube and you will have to log in stream elements is not going to hack your channel or anything because some very big streamers like turbo are using stream elements to do their overlays so now to make your own overlays you're going to click here go to stream tools and my overlays so i have those overlays but i'm gonna make a black overlay to show you how it works so when you click on create black overlay it should come up with this message and here you are not going to put 1080p but use custom and then if you choose advanced you can go on to here and you can see that it's 600 by 1080 so let's go back here 600 by 1080 and click on start so now you have the right size of the overlay and now you can do whatever you want put some alert boxes or you can customize the, the video effects the sounds and all that stuff yeah you can put your stream chat you can make it bigger by using this tool you can play with those settings you can it's you're going to choose it yourself all right so once you have finished your overlay you are going to click on this button on the top right and copy it and it should say copy it to clipboard so once you're back on streamchamp you're gonna go on html overlay url and put the url that you copied right here and now your overlay is officially working and you can move it around do whatever you want and there is this watermark but if you want to remove it you need to pay for a subscription which i'm not sponsored by this application by the way i would love to be sponsored but you know so now that we have finished the overlay section we are going to talk about scenes at first there is only going to be four of them the default one which you have changed the away one the be right back one and the starting soon one so to make it short when you are streaming and you don't want to show your screen for a moment you're gonna open up this panel and choose your away screen for example and they won't be able to hear you but what i like to do is make a new scene called no gameplay to screen scene and back and then back here again you're gonna put your old video settings and all that stuff boom advanced and then instead of having this video opened you're gonna click on visible and now it's the video is going to be invisible and you will still have the overlay you can make another overlay if you want to it comes to personal preference and once that is done you have this overlay people are going to see the overlay but people are not going to see your screen and parts back audio system boom. and then if you want to switch back to the default scene you just have to click here so another thing that i'm going to show you is the webcam system if you open up your phone boom turn on remote control and if you go this website on another device you will be able to have a remote control uh, you will be able to change the scene without opening stream champ and you are also be able to put a webcam to your stream so once you're on this website go back to stream champ and you are going to put this remote pair code into this and click on link and then uh, if you want to have webcam you, you can click on enable camera and then click on connect to stream and you can move it around the webcam if you want so this is it for the global guide to use stream champ to stream on youtube and on twitch